Well, I got a few of you guys there <clears throat> starting to come in. As you are entering the room, would you just open up the chat feature and type here? It should say your name. And that'll be my record. So it's 8.55, got five minutes till it officially starts. If you are here, just open up the chat, type here. And it, as long as your name is there, make sure your names, say your first and last name, if you would. So again, if you're just joining us, we got nine, four minutes till it starts. Uh, if you're just joining us, just open up the chat feature. Make sure your name says your first and last name. Some of you guys are only using your first name. Going forward, you got to have your name say first and last. So edit your names, if you would. Um, make sure it says your first and last name and just type in the chat feature that you're here. That's all you need to do. As always, you start unmuted. If you do want to say something, you can unmute yourself and talk if you need. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to just kind of keep repeating myself until we get to nine o'clock here. But if you are just joining us, I'm admitting you as we go here. Going forward, make sure your names say your first and last name. And all you need to do to check in is open up the chat feature, say here, and then I'll, I'll record the, I'll download the chat after we're done. I'm just clicking people in. Okay, so 17 of us now. If you are just joining, make sure your name going forward says your first and last name. And then you gotta make sure it says here. So even right now, there's like a Hannah and a Sammy. It just says your first name. You guys gotta change that going forward to say your first and last name. We just had a meeting this last week. So all your teachers are gonna be asking you to do the same thing. To have your name be first and last name going forward first, last name. And then all you need to do in the chat feature is type here and it should say your name and that counts for attendance for this thing. If you're watch, oh, I'm gonna start the recording. Oh, I did recording, okay, good. So if you're watching the recording, there's gonna be a secret word hidden a little bit later that you're gonna need to email me. If you are currently here for the ELA one nine o'clock session, it's 8.59. I'm gonna ask you to, I'll probably repeat myself for the first few minutes here. You're going to type your name in the chat feature, just to say here, and then I'll download the chat for quote unquote attendance. So I still have one minute to go. We are recording this. Again, if you are watching the recording later, I'm gonna say a secret word that you can email me so I know you watched the recording if you were unable to make this, that's fine. Again, for those of you that are just joining on now, still 8.59 on my computer. If you're just joining us, make sure going forward, it's okay for today, but I would make sure your name is your first and last. So one of the meetings we just had, 
talked about how students sometimes were using a different name or just their first name and we as teachers might have more than one student with that same name. So going forward, you got to make sure your username is just your first and last name. Otherwise, teachers won't be admitting you into the rooms unless we know who for sure it is. I guess some teachers have had some issues. I clicking admits to all these people here. I'm just asking you to sign up with the chat feature saying why Christian can't get on saying that you're here by typing your first and last name and I'm going to get going here in a minute. It is now officially nine o'clock. So you should be there. Although it looks like someone's having some issues. Bigger, admit all. Okay, so I'm going to start talking since it's 9.01. We have officially started. Um, I know that it looks like there's one person trying to log on twice that they are not getting in. I'm not sure why, but the rest of us are all here. Um, so Officially, this is ELA 1. You are logging in going forward. As I said, we had a meeting. All teachers are asking students to make sure your username is your first and last username, or I'm sorry, your first and last name, and that um, you have the microphone muted when you start. Your computer screens should be on you, that kind of thing. They shouldn't be on your cat, or you shouldn't be carrying on a conversation. You should be showing up to school. Um, so I know teachers going forward, if we are catching people who are either logging on without their real name, again, going forward, not today necessarily, as long as I can tell that it's from whoever it says. Like some of it, some of your guys, your usernames, it's just your first name. So I would please ask you to write your full name if it says just your first and last name, write your full name. Uh, most of you, it does look like you've got your first and last name, so you should be good. Um... If you need to say something, you can unmute yourself and interrupt me at any point. Also, if you're watching a recording and you want to talk, during 9.30 to 11, the office hours on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, you can easily email me and I can start up a private Zoom session. So if you've got like a five minute question, email me during that time, say, Mr. B, I got a question, and then I'll email you back a link and we can easily have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom. So that would be a perfect thing to do from office hours. So if you've got something, you don't want to fit it into an email, it's just a little bit long, whatever the case may be, email me 930 or even email me at any time and I can set up a meeting. I'll say, okay, let's meet at, you know, 1005, here's the link and then we'll set up a time. But I'd be happy to meet with you guys one-on-one -on -one. if you have any questions during office hours, just let me know, we'll do a private Zoom. All right, I'm gonna share my screen. This is the last time I'm gonna say this until the very end, but make sure if you have logged in, you've used the chat feature that says you're here. It says your first and your last name in the chat feature. If you're watching the recording, I'm gonna say a word, a secret word later that you're gonna have to email me. This is just basically for attendance to see who's using. So for attendance, I'm kind of using who's logging on to Moodle, who's completing the assignments and who's either watching the live sessions or recording the live sessions. That's what I'm using to sort of see who is here. If you haven't done week's one assignment, which was due on Friday, make sure you get it done. It was just sending a score of those first vocab cards. Okay. <clears throat> Sharing my screen. So here we have Moodle. This is for week two. So here is Monday. Again, if I could even go back a little bit just to week one, the only thing you guys had to do for homework, this is, I know the teacher view. Let me go to student view. For week one, the only thing you had for homework was the, the cards. Here's week one online learning. Um, it was due Friday, so if I scroll to Friday, I should be able to find it. Friday, two minutes, make sure you've taken the Quizlet test and emailed the results. 
right? So that here, that was the link to the Quizlet test. Um, it should be set when you go to the Quizlet test, it should be set to matching. If it is not, like if for some reason they're asking you to spell the words or something, you can go to test options. I've got it set to matching, so I'm assuming that it goes there, but maybe some of you are just going to your cards and then clicking the test. You can always change the options under the matching to make sure it's just question type is just checked to matching. And once you do it, create a new test and you're good to go. Then when you sh record the score, make sure you're recording the percentage. There's a handful of you that sent me um, your time, like your speed time. Uh, I, it doesn't matter how fast you get this done. I just need to know your percentage, basically. So make sure you send me the percentage score. So this was for week one. If you have not done it, it'll be a little bit late. But you'll still be way over the 70% passing. So you should be, you'll still be getting a, a P. Um, remember, we are at 70% and above, so basically 69.5 and up gives you a P. There is no difference between a 99 and a whatever, 79, right? It's still a P. So that was it for week one. Make sure you get this done. Send me the score. I'm going to go back now to week two. So here we are at ELA. I scroll down to the calendar second nine weeks. Here we are week two online learning. And... The live video session obviously posted here. I'm gonna report the or uh, post the meeting as soon as this is done. It takes a while to actually convert and upload and stuff. So I said I was shooting for noon. I think I got it a little afternoon last week, but it will be there around noon and I'll put it right there. Reminder office hours. These are the times Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 9.30 to 11. Again, perfect time if you've got a question you want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, let me know. I can schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting. I can open it up. It'd be real fast. You can ask me. It might be easier than emailing. So if you want to do that, that's an option. Otherwise, you can always email. And that's when all teachers are going to be hovering around their computers. Tuesday, this week. So what, it may help to use the PDF of the Hero's Journey. PDFs you can't type on, if you remember. But PDFs um, basically are very allowable for all people to see. So it just reminds you of the parts of the journey because we're plugging in Odysseus. So this is Odysseus in the hero's journey. So how does he fit into that hero cycle? What is his ordinary world? Well, his ordinary world is he's king of Ithaca. Uh, and then it goes on and it plugs him in. So that's what this video is about. Um, if you are having trouble, I know last week, if you have a Chromebook, there was some issues. Google owns YouTube and, you know, obviously Google Chrome. And apparently there was some settings with the Chromebooks that weren't working very well with the videos. So I know some of you contacted me. I was trying to send you the straight video or send you to my YouTube channel. Hopefully that is fixed. I know it was an issue amongst DeWitt Chromebook computers. That's why the YouTube wasn't working for some of you. Hopefully this has been fixed. If you're having trouble, let me know. But there's another way you can do it. You can always just watch the video here, or once you start playing it, you can even just click on the YouTube link and go watch it on YouTube. You've got my YouTube channel, which you could follow it. And then you just look at the name of the title. Like this is Odysseus and the Hero's Journey. All right, so 15 minute video, Odysseus and the Hero's Journey. Here's the Quizlet set for this week. It's Odysseus and the Hero's Journey. So it's just plugging in Odysseus into the Hero's Journey. Last week you did all the parts. So this week it's still the parts, but it's how does Odysseus fit in? And then your assignment for week two is just like last week, the Quizlet, it should be set. Here it is right here for the hero's journey, plugging Odysseus in. And there's the PowerPoint for that. Um, so I basically on the PowerPoint and on the video, I basically talk about how Odysseus fits into the hero's journey. And that's what the assignment is. Again, you just email me, you take the, the test. Here's the link to the test. So if you'll notice, the ordinary world, we know that's Odysseus in Ithaca, and here it is. Boom, I've just done the first one for you. King of Ithaca is the ordinary world. So you're plugging in Odysseus. Once you get the score, make sure you have the percentage, and then you email the percentage to Mrs. Reeves. She's taking track of that. So here's her email. So all you got to do is take a picture of it, screenshot it, whatever the case is, take the, follow the link, make sure it's all set to matching, which it should be if you follow this link. As you, if you see it here, I said, just make sure the settings are matching. Follow the link, take the test. You've got till Friday, 1149 or 1159 to do that.
that's it for week one. That's the week two. I'm sorry, the week two assignment, just like last week, except it's the Odysseus in Hero's Journey. Uh, 15 minutes to read SSR and also time to work on your book talks. Again, here's a copy of the book talk. This one, you can type on it if you have Microsoft Word. This one is just downloadable. I would be slowly going through this. At this point, you should probably have the mandatory intro done. You're probably working on the plot, mandatory plot section. As long as you are continuing to read, you might continue to update that. If you want some more guidance on this, I'm gonna start talking more probably in week three, like, okay, this is where you should be. This is where you should be. Right now you're reading and you're filling out the outline. That is what you are doing right now. You can probably, depending on where you are in the books, you can probably do the protagonist, antagonist, supporting characters. Um, depending on where you are, you can fill this out as you go. So I give you multiple time, multiple days this week to actually work on that. I don't know how I got that on there, but um, week. So, excuse me, that was Tuesday. You've got one video to watch. You've got the Quizlet set to study and you got till Friday to actually take the test. And then of course, I'm giving you time to work on the book talks. Wednesday's off. Thursday, you've got another 15 minute video. This is the beginning, Odyssey, the Odyssey, the beginning and the Lotus Eaters. Then there is the Cyclops part one video. So there's two videos to watch and then you get 10 minutes and actually 15 minutes if you count it together. So whether you take 10 to read SSR or five to do the book talks or 15 minutes to do the book talks, whatever, I'm giving you 15 minutes of time for reading and five minute book talk on Thursday. On Friday, it's just a reminder to submit your, uh, your assignment one for week two. There's only one assignment for week two and it's the Quizlet test for the Odyssey and the um, Odysseus and the hero's journey. You can take the actual test again by following it here. So I'm actually giving you time Friday to do it if you haven't. Again, email Miss Reed when Miss Reed when you're done. Four minutes, read the following and look for the link for week three assignment. I'm giving you the assignment now for week three. So week two assignment. All it is is Odysseus in the hero's journey. Take the test, send us your score. That's it for week two. That is due Friday, 424. I am announcing already what the week three assignment is. If you are in first block, you would follow this link. If you're in fourth block, you're gonna follow this link. Now, as I read these videos, here's the end of the Cyclops video. As I read, I'm constantly talking about how it's an example of a model or how it's an example of a warning. And that's what the question is. So remember myth, the whole purpose of myth is to relate cultural importance. It's a way of passing on stuff. So for example, when he goes to the Lotus Eaters, which you will read about this week, we've got right here, the video on Thursday, Odysseus, the beginning in the Lotus Eaters. And by the way, if you go to my YouTube site, if that's how you go, that's the, the title. I'm always putting the titles now be whoops, before the video. So this one on Tuesday, Odysseus in the Hero's Journey. The Thursday, first video, the Odyssey, beginning in the Lotus Eaters. The second video is Cyclops part one. And then... Friday, you've got Cyclops part two. But as we're doing this, for example, when I talk about the Lotus Eaters, if you remember Percy Jackson, the Lotus Eaters Casino, that's where they get it from. Well, it's always a model and a warning. So at one point, his men are with Circe. This is the sorceress, and she's kind of taking his men and um, turning them into swine. Odysseus never leaves a man behind. He goes back and gets them. He does the same thing here with the Lotus Eaters. He, he comes back and uh, the, their, his men are eating the Lotus flower and they don't wanna leave and they've forgotten, they've forgotten all about their home. A good leader never leaves a man behind and he goes back and gets them. That's an example of a model. That is positive behavior. So the story of the Lotus Eaters tells us a positive thing. A person in war, a general never leaves a man behind. And that's an example or uh, a, a model of what to do. So basically the question, whether you're in first block or fourth block, is just that. So I've clicked on first block. Here's the question. As we read the Odyssey, remember that Odysseus and his men serve as a model or a warning for behavior. Essentially a myth is a designed, myth is designed to reinforce cultural values. So first paraphrase an example from the Odyssey of a model of good behavior 
or a warning of bad behavior. So when we see the Cyclops, part one and part two, there's some bad things he does. There's one point where his men say, let's get out of here. Let's leave. Let's just take the cheese and the goats and go. And he even says, what sound advice that was if I would have listened. So it's a warning. He was one, sometimes a good a leader needs to listen to his men. Two, sometimes you can be too curious for your own good. Odysseus, Odysseus was too curious and it gets some of his men killed. So it's, even though it's a warning of what not to do, it still teaches you a lesson. The, the myth, the lesson is don't be too curious for your own good. No one is enough. Um, lead a balanced life. So that's all I'm asking you to do. You're going to see a ton of it next week as well. And I'm talking about it this week, but you're basically responding to the question. Um, Odysseus is supposed to be a model and a warning. Essentially, a myth is designed to reinforce cultural values. So first paraphrase from the Odyssey, a model or something he does that's an example of good behavior or something he does that you don't want to do. So it's either a model, do this, or it's a warning, don't do that. Either way, after you've sort of summarized what it is Odysseus does, you're going to explain what the message is supposed to be. A leader in Lemon leaves a man behind or uh, lead a balanced life or stuff like that. To reply, it's pretty easy. You just click reply. You type your response, ba 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 ba, and then you scroll down and hit post to forum. Boom. That's it. That's for week three. Okay. So week two, that's this coming Friday. You've got Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday to get week two assignment done. And once again, that's simply the Odysseus and the Hero's Journey Quizlet. Take the test. Here's the link. Send it to me by Friday. The first block, second block, the forum post. Again, that's going to be due on the first. Okay. So that's due week three. I'm just telling you now so that as you're listening to these videos, you'll be kind of thinking about, oh, it's a model, it's a warning, and here's what it's supposed to say, okay? So you'll notice also when, once you go there, whoops, sorry, that's the video. Um, once you go to the assignment, the rubric is here. So here's the rubric. Um, it's pretty easy. Five sentence post to get a 10 out of 10. The entire post adds something new and descriptive. It's thought provoking, descriptive, creative. Responds to the entire prompt, meaning you have summarized something that Odyssey has done and has told us if it's a model or a warning, and you've told us what cultural value, what's the lesson to be learned. Uh, ideas expressed are written clearly and creatively, no spelling, grammar errors. So that's a 10. Again, you only need a, a seven to get the P. So Shoot for the 10, but you only need a seven to get the P. So that is, again, the, um, the rubric for this forum response, which again is not due. This is the week three assignment, not due to Friday of week three. The only thing that's due this week is the Quizlet test, which I, I remind you almost every day, but I do pencil in time for you on Friday to take it, send it to Mrs. Reeve, your score when you're done, make sure it's your percentage. Uh, other than that, you know, I'm telling you about next week's assignment. Other than that, it's basically a video every day. I think Thursday, there are two videos where you read uh, the Odyssey, the beginning of the Lotus Eaters and the Cyclops part one. And other than that, it's just a video every day. And then even on Tuesday, I pencil in time for you to actually take the test, right? I give you four minutes to take the test. It shouldn't take that long. And then I give you, you watch the 15 minute, or I'm sorry, 21 minute video. Then I give you 20 minutes to work on the book talk. So again, at this point, week two, all you need to be doing is basically slowly but surely updating the menu outline as you go. Next week, I'm going to probably start talking about what to do after that. And basically the next step would just be to create a PowerPoint. So for every menu outline page you have, oops, I'll go to the PDF version. For every menu outline page you have, you're going to probably have a slide that mirrors that. So the mandatory parts, you're going to have a slide that mir mirrors the mandatory parts. The plot line, you might have a slide with each point on it. Maybe you'll have five slides if you're really wanting to go into it, but you don't need to. You've got um, 
menu uh, story option elements menu option one you could do a slide for this you could do a slide for uh, the conflict and complication one you could do a slide for the quotes so that's sort of just a peek of what's ahead right now you're just filling out the book talk i would just try to get by the end of this week if you can maybe even next week try to finish up the books if you can don't have to you can go slower but that's kind of what you should be shooting for, I would think. Maybe even week four would be the week you should shoot for. And then, but slowly but surely, you're writing the script, you're building the slides, and then you record the presentation. And I'm going to give you time to do it, just like I'm giving you 20 minutes on Friday to work on this. Okay. Uh, I think that is all. So I'm going to stop sharing. I am back here. Do we have any questions with anything? If you have a question, how can I see all of you guys? Maybe it's because all your cameras are off. Oh, John, uh, unmute. What'd you got, John? Do you have a question or are you just? Yeah, I got a question. Yes. So if you said the week through stuff or like, could we, could we do it today or sure. do you want it by next week? All no, right. you can do it anytime. As long as it's done before Friday, like the week two stuff. It's just the Quizlet. You could take it today and send it to Miss Reeve. That's fine. You just got till Friday. Um, the only thing with the week three stuff is obviously it asks you about the Odyssey. So you might want to wait until, I know we did read a little bit of it before we went on break, but you might want to wait until you've read a little bit of it or until I've read a little bit of it. So you can see, um, because that's what it's asking. It's asking you once again, as we read the Odyssey, summarize a part that's either a model or a warning and then you explain what the lesson is and again you're shooting for five sentences in the forum uh that's it but yeah you can do that whenever you want hi miss reeve how are you uh unmute you yeah, there you go i'm doing good i just got done with the meeting so i wanted to hop on and see everybody kaden yeah. what, what are you doing Aiden, I haven't seen you in so long. I need to see, I need to see your whole face. And then you can go back in. Just give me, give me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> so I'm guessing these are the screens, because I've only got one page, even though we had we had 40 participants at one point. We're down to 34 oh, yeah. now. Um but like uh, i'm guessing everyone else has their screen off that's why we can't see their page possibly when i went to full screen i can see i have one of three. Oh, you do yeah see i'm in full screen and i don't we've got 45 <laughs> participants it looks like good but total non-video participants 32. Okay. I don't see where I can flip to any other screen though. Anyway. Yeah, see I, I, yeah, anyway. They've all got their, if you haven't done this, make sure you put your name in the chat, your first and last name. That's how we're doing attendance. I can just download the chat feature. Uh, was there any other questions? Maybe Ms. Reeve, you can, if you have a question, you can just unmute yourself and talk. Questions about this week's work or even the week three stuff. I, oh, it looks like Abby, are you raising your hand? No, <laughs> no. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, for the most part, I really appreciated um, the majority of you that did your quiz on time. Um, there was a lot of, a lot of kids to keep track of. So I was getting a lot of emails and Putting, I tried to put the grades in quickly for you and um, just remember that um, when, when we talk on Monday or when Mr. Patelia talks on Monday that we're still available all week, you know, per office hours and per the nine to three time slot. Yep. But um, don't wait till the last minute so you forget. Uh, yep, I told him. I was thinking they, that the the kids that I didn't hear from probably just forgot because. Yep. Well, I told them they could certainly turn in their week two assignment whenever they want. It's the same as week 
one, and then they can do the same thing for the week three. They can answer it as soon as they can. Um, so week one assignment was the Quizlet. Send it to Miss Reeve. Week two's assignment is the same thing. It's just plugging Odysseus in. Take the Quizlet, send it to Miss Reeve. Week three is the forum where you're answering the posts right online. And that's it. But yeah, like I said, if you are here, you should have been putting your name into the chat feature. If you recorded, I said, you're watching this recorded. I said I would give you a magic word. Uh, the word is fire hydrant. There is your word you will email to show you've watched the end of the video, fire hydrant. Uh, let me see. And then, yes, like Ms. Reeve said, I, I did say it earlier, but if you want a one-on-one, -on -one, we can easily schedule a, a Zoom meeting one-on-one -on -one during office hours, 9.30 to 11, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So if you want one-on-one, -on -one, let us know. I don't know if we've got anything else. I think that's really it. If you've got a question with the stuff, let us know. You can do the work whenever, but it's all posted on Moodle. If for some reason something's not working, I went over the fact that YouTube wasn't working earlier last week. DeWitt Schools hopefully got that finished. Um, I think that's it school-wise. Is there any good news we've got? I know my good news, I guess, is uh, I'm doing a podcast with my friends, so that's kind of fun. We've been try able to uh, get together in this COVID-19. I got one in Grand Rapids, one in Pennsylvania that we've been doing a, a podcast. So that's kind of been cool. Anything else up you guys are up to that you're doing fun or unique or interesting while you're staying home, learning in any new ways? Um, here we've got Carter C. Ives. What do you got, sir? Uh, for good news. Yeah. Um, I watched Rain Man on Friday. Oh, that's a great movie. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Dustin Hoffman. Yep, and Tom Cruise. Yep, good, good, good for you. Yeah, that's very awesome. Ben? Oh, so actually, I just finished. I just finished yours uh, on Saturday, which was my rock for guys of Super Mario 3D World, which which had a whole series on YouTube on it. Well, that's my cool. channel's called Super Yoshi Gaming. You should go subscribe to it. Super Yoshi. You know, Okay, yeah. Super Yoshi Gaming. Yeah. All right, neat. My daughters will be interested in that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Super Yoshi Gaming. Um, anyone else? If you want to, if I don't see your hand, just unmute yourself and you can talk. We, we did a good deed. What'd you do? Well, we had a, we have, um, uh, wetlands behind our house and we had the most adorable baby goose one little goose we gosling is the correct word but wandering through the yard and we were able to get it and carry it and put it back down where he came from in hopes that he would find his parents oh well, that's good and then yeah, and then we saw two geese swimming with three babies behind it. So we convinced ourselves that one of those three was the one that we saved. So, because we don't want to think bad. We just, we were like, oh, there he is with his yeah. family. Well, that's that good. Nice. Yeah. That was super adorable. We wanted to keep him, but it's actually illegal. So we don't want to do that. So. <laughs> cool. Anyone else? Just unmute yourself if you want to talk. Did anybody have a birthday over the week? Or gonna have a birthday this week? No, no birthdays. <laughs> Okay, well, like I said, the word is fire hydrant. If you were recording, send that to us so we know you've attended. Uh, you've got weeks two stuff. You've even been given the week three assignment. And, you know, if you've got emails you wanted to send, obviously 9.30 to 11 is the time, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, or schedule a Zoom meeting. We can easily jump on and do one-on-one -on -one during that time as well. 
Okay, gang. Well, until next Monday, email us if you have any questions. Keep being creative. Keep working on your book talks. I'm going to continue to pencil in time for you to do that. And continue to be safe. I know it's starting. You, you want to break out now and start to see more people and get lax, but maybe this is when we need to be most vigilant. So make sure you are staying safe and social distancing and doing your work and exploring new learning. I know we're doing that at our house, so that's kind of the fun part of this. But Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping in. Bye. Thanks. Have a good week.